Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now, do you find when cooking fish or other lean proteins that they turn out dry and maybe a little bit bland and tasteless? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you a cooking technique, a French cooking technique called en papillote, and you will end up with moist and flavorful fish each and every time. So today I am making cod in papio with a wonderful, flavorful, and fresh blend of some Southeast Asian flavors. But the beauty of in papio is that you can customize the ingredients that you put into the pouch in many different ways. But to get started here today, I'm gonna to show you my version. Now, in this bowl, I have the zest of two limes, and to that, I'm going to add the juice. I'm adding a little bit extra lime juice today, so I'm adding the juice of three limes here because I really need a little bit of moisture. Now the cooking technique in papio takes place in the oven, but it's actually a form of steaming. And that's really what helps create a really flavorful and moist um, and tender fish filet or chicken breast. In papio actually means in paper. And I'm using parchment paper today, and you wanna make sure that you're either using parchment paper. Some people actually do this in um, tin foil as well, but you don't wanna use wax paper or any coated paper that shouldn't be placed in the oven. Now, I have the juice of three limes here in this bowl, and to that, I'm going to add um, some aromatics. Now, that is one large red onion that's been thinly sliced, that goes right in. If you like things spicy, you can add some chilies. These are red Thai bird chilies. Now you can use chilies that are mild or hot, depending on your tastes. If you want something that's a little bit more mild, make sure that you take the seeds and the veins out of the chili. It will reduce the amount of heat. A little bit of julienne ginger, and this is from a two inch piece of ginger. And I have four garlic cloves that have been thinly sliced here. And so now I'm just going to mix this together and this is really gonna add a lot of great flavor to my cod fillets. Now, this technique is so versatile, you can use it with so many different ingredients. Now, the proteins, you can switch those up. Um, I will say that lean proteins like fish, um, and that could be the firm flesh white fish that I'm using today, you could use halibut, you could use um, sea bass, salmon is really fantastic, which I have here. You could also use some shellfish. Shrimp would be fantastic. I've even seen um, some recipes for in papio where they put mussels or clams in parchment, which is really interesting. And then, as I mentioned before, chicken breast is really great. You can use a whole chicken breast like this, or you could cut these into smaller, thinner cutlets if you wanted to have a shorter cooking time. So my flavorful, aromatic mixture here is nicely mixed and combined, and now I'm going to show you how to create these wonderful pouches. All you need is a piece of parchment, as I said before. So this is about 20 inches in length here, and I'm going to fold the parchment in half, creating a crease. And all you do is you open up the crease again. I'm gonna place my piece of cod. Now, I'm using a six ounce piece of cod, and this is skinless, so you can have your fishmonger do that for you, or you could do it yourself, it's fairly simple. I'm gonna drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, you could use your favorite spice blend here as well. And I'm going to add um, some vegetables here. So I'm using baby bok choy today just because I'm going with this kind of Southeast Asian theme to my in papillote. Now, you could switch up the vegetables in here and the flavorings, as I mentioned before. Now, in front of me, I have some options that you could use, spinach or asparagus. Anything that's kind of quick cooking and tender will really work here in, um, in papillote. Now, some really thinly sliced potatoes like I have here will also work. And maybe that would be better with the chicken that might take a little bit longer in the oven. Cherry tomatoes are fantastic or thinly sliced um, fresh tomatoes. Lots of different herbs. I have parsley and thyme here. Of course, lemon and orange. Citrus really works well with shellfish. And then if you have any briny ingredients in your refrigerator, they would really add a punch of flavor. So I have capers here and Kalamata olives. And as you guys know, one of my favorite things to keep in the freezer and in the refrigerator, so I have it on hand to add a lot of flavor, are compound butters. So 
flavorful compound butters with a mixture of herbs and spices. Take a little piece off here and place it right on top of the fish and you have a little bit of fat that will help baste the fish and keep it nice and moist. So I'm gonna place the baby bok choy in the crease here of the parchment and I'm gonna drizzle this with just a little bit of olive oil as well. You could rub it if you'd like. Now, if you have bok choy that's a little bit bigger, you might wanna cut this into quarters or halves. It really depends on the size, um, but you don't want to end up with big raw bok choy and perfectly cooked fish. So try to measure it up in size. If it needs to be smaller, you can certainly do that. Now, on top of this, I'm gonna take my wonderful mixture here. It's really important when you're cooking in this fashion to add as much flavor as possible because you're not getting any of that wonderful caramelization. And the caramelization, when you're cooking things on the stove top or in the oven, really gives great flavor to whatever it is that you're preparing. And we're steaming here, so we're not getting that. So we need to compensate by adding in flavorful ingredients. And to top it off, a few sprigs of fresh cilantro. So now to create the pouch, you're gonna fold the parchment over along the crease. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna start folding and crimping the paper. So you take a little piece of the corner edge here and you fold it down. Draw your finger along to seal the edge. And then you're gonna keep doing this. And you're gonna basically end up with a half circle and you really wanna create a good seal here, you guys, because if you have any open edges, what's gonna happen is the steam is going to escape out of the bag and you're not going to properly steam your fish and your vegetables. In Papio, the best part about it, especially when you're hosting a dinner party or you're just having some friends over for dinner, when you present this at the table, everyone gets a pouch and you kind of, you can cut it open right before you're ready to eat and all of the steam kind of escapes. It's pretty dramatic. So there you go folding the edges, making sure they're nice and tight again, you guys. And there you go, you have a beautiful pouch that's ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna repeat the process here with my other sheet of parchment, but these go on to a rimmed baking sheet and you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 450 degrees and these will bake for 10 to 15 minutes. And if you need to check the doneness of the fish or if you're using chicken, you could certainly use a digital thermometer. Just sneak it in the side here into the center of the fish or the chicken and you'll get a good read on temperature. So these are hot out of the oven. You can see the parchment paper browns a little bit and they've uh, puffed up a bit, the pouches. Now using a big spatula here, you can move the pouches to a plate and bring this right to the table just like that. And because I wanna show you guys how lovely the fish turns out, I wanna cut it open for you. Now you can do this with a sharp paring knife or you could use a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna cut a slit down the center here. Pull back the parchment. Those beautiful red onions kind of turn a nice purpley pink color. Now garnish with a few sprigs of additional cilantro. And there you go, guys. You have a beautiful meal. Vegetables, fish, all in one with a moist and flavorful and flaky fish. Look at that, amazing. So I encourage you guys to try this method at home. Let me know how it turns out using the hashtag Kitchen Conundrums or right in the comment section below. We love to hear from you guys. And as always, enjoy. And as always guys, click like and subscribe.